In my event, today we're going to be talking about the Spanish tragedy by Tom's Kid. So Tom's Kid was born in London, son of a Scribner, in 1558. He went to a prestigious grammar school. He never went to university and said work with his father. And little is known about him or his work. Spanish tragedy was later attributed to him. And he wrote... Uh, your Hamlet, which actually serves as a model of today's Hamlet. Um, let me see. So, um, this play in English theater established. The revenge play, or the revenge tragedy. Um. And this would influence Shakespeare, Johnson, and Marlowe. Um, so very important play. Um. This play w was heavily influenced by, um, the Greeks and the Romans, especially Seneca. Um, the whole thing with, uh, the characters of Revenge and John and Drea, um, very stylistic of the play, like, Thais, 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 oh, I can't talk today, sorry. Um, as well as, you know, we have Medea and the Greeks, just any... The Greeks and the Romans had a lot of revenge plays, but more closely resembling um, Seneca's works and bringing it into the Elizabethan era, modernizing it. Um, so, and it, it did have a lot of connections with Tom's kids. Um, Life, um, living in Elizabethan times. Um, this play was written around, um, I believe it was 1582, I think. Um, so this is during the Elizabeth Elizabethan times. Um, So, it was performed in 1586, I believe, and then in, um, in 1592, The Rose. Ah, uh, let's see what else. The Admiral's Men revived, Admiral's Men revived in 1597. 97, um, modern times, like modern performances, um, Royal Shakespeare Company did performance, um, in the mid-1990s, um, The Arcola Theater did one in 2009. Um, another really good production of it was um, in Minneapolis in 2010. Um, so, yeah, so this is a revenge tragedy, and. Let's start talking about it. So, um, Don Drea, who's dead, who died, um, war between Por Portugal and Spain, um, him and the personification of revenge open the chorus. And the next scene on um, Spain and Portugal have made a truce, and you see the general talking to the king of Spain about the events in the war. 
and shortly after the next scene, the Viceroy um learns his son um is a prisoner and wants to see if he's alive and he's a prisoner to um the Spanish court. Um later on Bell Imperia who is the niece of the King of Spain out and she's in love with Horatio who's the Knight Marshal's son and the Knight Marshal's name is uh I'm trying to pronounce the name here here Nemo. Sorry, here Nemo. Um here Nemo is the uh, um uh, protagonist of this play. Um so of course is another speech and then Don Lorenzo, Valen Perry's brother, learns that his sister loves Horatio. And Bath Baths are that's the prince in Portugal, him and Lorenzo watch the love scene. The king suggests that the prince should court Valimperia to um pretty much repair um you know the feud between Portugal and Spain and these two guys end up killing Horatio. Here Nemo learns of his son's murder in the court it comes out and then Viceroy in the third act learns his son's alive. Um, meanwhile, her new oh, reads a letter that's transcribed by Bal Imperia. And later in that scene, Don La John Lorenzo has um paid Pedragano kill a ser he kill a servant. Um which happens in the next scene. Um Balthazar and Lorenzo learn of the murder. Then Pedragano is hung. Um So another letter is read by Hermo and it he learns that it was Lorenzo and Balthazar who killed his son. His wife pretty much gives him that at that point and um Don Lorenzo talks to his sister on telling her to love Balthazar. At this point in the play Hermo um, contemplated suicide. Um, and there's a moment where he thinks he sees his, his son's ghost. Ultimately, he decides to try to make friends with Bob Sar and Lorenzo, and he instructs him to, um, help him out in a dumb show, like a play, along with Isabella. Not, sorry, not Isabella, um, what's her name? Um, that one period, sorry. But, um, Isabella, the wife of Hearing You, kills herself. And in the last scene, we have the dumb show put on for the Spanish and Portuguese court. And, is and Balimperia ends up killing Balthazar and Lorenzo and then herself. Here Nemo is held responsible for, and he cuts out his tongue so when they torture him, he can't speak, and then he kills himself and the Duke, the father of um, Balimperia and um, Lorenzo. Um, the Viceroy exits with his body, his son's body, and the king exits with his brothers, and then the chorus comes out and summarizes the play. Um, so, the real, 
um, tragic characters in this play. We we have two. Um, here you here you move in down period. One lover of Horatio, one a father of Horatio. So we have these two different aspects of love, and their love pushes them to revenge because he's instantly killed by these two guys. Um. And you and Owen, oh, and, um, Bell and Pira demand revenge, and so they get revenge. Um, meanwhile, the king and the viceroy are both, um, preoccupied with eats like the affairs of the state and um so Don Don Andrea and the chorus I in revenge me merely exist to um move the play along. Um And yeah, so that's all I have to wrap this, and I'll see you guys later.